Hey guys, welcome back, and today I'm gonna share with you why I don't like iMovie at all. And there's one or two things that absolutely drive me insane. Today's first humongous shout out goes to ZD Cap. He donated it several times in yesterday's premiere, so, and this is not the first time he donated, so guys, check him out, and huge shout out to you, ZD Cap. And his link is gonna be in the description down below. Thank you so much, bro. And today's notification shout out goes to Wary's Con. You were first, so thank you so much and shout out to you. And I always check for the first comment, not in like the first person that shows up in the premiere, only in the comment section. That way you can know that I'm choosing the correct person. And in this video, I'm gonna say why I personally don't like iMovie. I'm not saying it's a bad app, it's just that there's some things that I don't like about it. Let me start from something positive first. So first it's uh, free, there's no watermark, and there's constant updates from Apple. And if you want to start somewhere with no watermark, then you can have this app. But I would personally have an app with watermark that is better at editing. And in the beginning, you want an app and that is not going to cost you any money. You can make some trailers or, and simple editing, so it's a good place to start. The first thing I don't like about it, it's, it's very limited. And some apps let you do keyframing, like you can resize the text gradually, and you can even like move an object to your hand like this. And you can even keyframe special effects like muzzle flashes, gunshots, and stuff like that. Even though it's not full motion tracking, you can still move objects, obviously by using the keyframing effect, but you can keyframe in iMovie, that's the unfortunate part. Second one is, in other apps like Kind Master, you can adjust the effect very specifically, but in iMovie, this option is very limited as well. And before I jump into the third one and the most annoying one, I just want to say I'm not being mad at like Apple products because I'm using this iPhone to record and an iMac that has Final Cut Pro in it and I play my iPad every single day, so I don't hate Apple products. But iMovie is a whole different story. I understand why it's very limited because they want you to jump to the Final Cut Pro, but they should add some other elements. Obviously, Final Cut Pro, yeah, you have to pay for it, so obviously they want you to pay for it. And here is the most annoying part about iMovie. Like, I actually hate this. And the third one is, in any sort of ed editing app, you can put gameplay and then a corner face cam with green screen, but not in iMovie. Of course, there is a way to do it, but you have to go through hoops to do it. And I know how to do it if you want to know how to do it too, then make sure to click the link in the description down below. You should be able to put like one layer of video, aka like gameplay, then put your green screen corner face cam, but not an iMovie. Seriously Apple, you're gonna make it that complicated? Give us a break. Those are the three things that I don't like about iMovie. There's probably some more, but I don't want to talk about it all day. But otherwise, if you're looking for a free app to start, then this app is cool. But the editing app that I prefer on Android or iOS is KindMaster and I have many different tutorials. So make sure to check this playlist. Subscribe for new videos coming in every week and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!